Back live. What will who we today? Two hotheads where activism happens, Mike Kane. Oh yes we are. Obviously. Yeah. Come on. Oh, get with it. Even though so, even though we were still We're so it, we don't even have to say it though. <laughs> Am I, am I, am I, my ego is getting big today. On I know. Show, we yeah. had a, we had too nice heads. a night. Yeah. It was. Two big heads. Yeah. On. Two big heads. <laughs> on activism. Who deserve it? No, we, we, we put it in every week. Come on. <laughs> we cut each other's egos down this We do, but not this bit. week. Not this no, week. No, we're too yeah. riding high. It's yeah. true. But we have, we have Catherine Leach here in the studio. Yep, I knew that was Tua. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Leach in the studio with us, who is running uh, for the Rhode Island City Council. Warwick City Council? Warwick City Council. Ward Warwick 6. Rhode in Rhode Island. Island. Yep. That's what I meant. Yep. In Ward 6. <laughs> yeah. Ward 6. Ward 6, <laughs> yep. So There's tell us, why, why are you running for City Council? What, what prompted you to start doing this? Well, I moved to Warwick about two years ago, and... Um, it actually started with a bill in the mail um, for my car taxes, <laughs> and um, there, there, there ended up being a big, you know, kind of they called it the car tax revolt in Warwick, but it kind of started a wave um, of looking into the way we do tax our vehicles in um, on the municipal level and then the state level in Rhode Island, um, and it ended up you know, growing to the point where there was now bills being heard in the state house um, in, into how we value our vehicles. They're, they're valued at clean value, um, you know, regardless of year or age or where. And the appeals process is a rubber stamp denial process. There's over 4,000 appeals a year. Not a single one is ever approved, ever. Wow. So, wow. <laughs> there's, you know, so there's nothing you That's can like do That's like transparent it. corruption right there. <laughs> well, it is. You can just see it. Um, so, so obviously, you know, that kind of riled me enough to say, well, you know, I'm kind of done complaining about it on my couch and on Facebook. I'm, I'm just, I'm right just going to try and get on the board that, that votes to make those decisions. So What board was this? I wish more the, of the, 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 it's the Finance Committee of Warwick, okay. um, but when you're a council member, you can be appointed to, you know, the, the different committees, and you do vote, you know, on the city's budget, and... See, I wish more people thought like you did and decided to just, instead of complain about something on Facebook and a status update, <laughs> decided to run for public office. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have to applaud that. Yeah. Because, uh, I think that's the key, too. Like, uh, too many people think activism is just uh, voting and right. posting on something on Facebook. That's and, and that's a good start. Yeah, it is. It is a good, good start. start. And you got to get involved and go. But I also think people miss that you have to go out. You have to go out to events. You have to meet people. You have to get interested. Pick something. Right. Right. And that's what you did, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I want to live in Warwick, you know, for a long time. We have young children that are in the public schools. And, you know, as I was in a military home, so we moved all the time. And I never got to be in the same school. And I want that for my kids. I want that kind of permanence. Um, but if the city is on the brink of bankruptcy and, you know, the property taxes have increased 100% in the last two years. Mm. I mean, that's detrimental. Wow. And business owners pay twice the property tax rate that you know a homeowner does so we're now driving wow. out the businesses um wow. and and yeah and, and that's I mean, exactly what rhode island needs right now is to drive no. out even more business <laughs> ward six where i am is um it's a little bit you know depressed it, it's not as nice as maybe you know connecticut or or natick it, um it's it's just a little bit of a different population mm -hmm. and um you know i think that you do learn a lot just by having the bravery to knock on someone's door, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and it's, and it's really hard for me. I'm a shy person, you know, I'm not confrontational and, um, you learn real quick, like in an hour and a half of, of, you know, you get to the point where you're just banging on the door and as soon as they open it, you're saying, will you sign my papers? And they're like, papers for what? And then, okay, y you're still willing to talk to me. Now I'll tell yeah, you what exactly. they are. You know? yeah. and we have a similar <laughs> situation when we go signature gathering and stuff like that. When we go yes. out and collect uh, I need you to sign something. Yeah. You know, you yeah. just kind of come out, you know, so you, you understand. Demand it. Yeah, I like that. Process. I like exactly. that. Exactly. And, and what I found out, too, in, uh, in, in my area is um, the, 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 the person that I'm running against has been on the council for 17 years. So I'm running against a 17-year incumbent. She's a Democrat. Wow. Um, she lives right around the corner from my house like almost on the same block um, and some people in my ward don't know who she is 
they don't know her name they don't know what she's done for them in their area um either that or they know and they're fed up or they know and they say are you out of your mind you're gonna <laughs> run out of, you know you're gonna run against donna yeah. how can you do that you know? <laughs> i love the rhode so, island accent right there you oh, hit it on the head <laughs> <laughs> nicely done I, I have friends in canada and they say oh family guy family guy <laughs> yeah. family, family guy <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and i mean you know you you get a thick skin and like i said like this isn't um, i don't have a primary there was a republican uh richard langseth that was going to be running against me and he dropped out um, he did apparently tell somebody, you know, that he has some issues with my support of medical marijuana. Um, I don't know why he would want to drop out because of that. Usually, if you have a vendetta against someone, you want to beat the Fight pants them. off yeah, them. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, yeah, because I, he knows he knew he was going to lose. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, and you know, he he is a he's a him and Donna are friends. So you know, maybe I I can see him not wanting to, you know, run against her and her ward, maybe, but. Yeah. So tell us more about your support of medical marijuana. What about legalization of marijuana? Right. That's kind of what's gotten me in the most trouble uh-oh. so far in my race. <laughs> well, I don't want to get you in more trouble, but no, we do ask, I, ask candidates to come out and say say the truth on the issue. So. so, Well, the truth is, is I am a responsible adult marijuana user. And, you know, yep. <laughs> that. that's not going to change. And, you know, I, that genie was out of the bottle, you know, many years ago for me. Um <laughs> I, I just had a story that I was interviewed for. Um, Rhode Island just passed decriminalization. Yeah. So it's now it a sure civil did. offense. Anything yeah. under well, announced. next April it will. Yes, <laughs> that's right. April April first, twenty thirteen. People don't light up until April first, twenty thirteen. So Newman, <laughs> Newman. Sure. I told Newman. Sure. Newman, he's down in uh, the Newport. Folk Folk festival. festival. I told him to be careful. We love Catherine so much. This was like the best interview ever. I'm so inspired. It was my first time. Keep your eyes out on leechforcitycouncil.com.